Hello students, welcome back to uh, our uh, classes on the standard costing. So we are discussing the uh, cost and management accounting and financial management subject and uh, we are at class number 25. So in the uh, in our channel you can see all the previous classes. So currently we are in the topic of standard costing and variance analysis. So in last two classes we discussed about the material variances material cost variances and now in this class we are going to discuss about what is labor variance what are the types of labor variance and what are the associated formulas and one very simple example problem okay and in the next class we will uh, discuss about all the uh, all other types of problem under the labor variances okay so let me go into uh, today's discussion so labor cost variance so th this labor cost variance is exactly similar to material cost variance that is the first point to remember second point is in material cost variance we speak about standard price and actual price because those are all the price of the material but but here the resource under consideration is not material but instead of that it is labor so it is going to be the labor rate so what is labor rate it is nothing but your salary or wages or your per hour rate okay so that is the labor rate so that is the standard rate and actual rate instead of standard price and actual price the second thing is in the material cost variance we discussed about actual quantity standard quantity and revised standard quantity but here quantity is nothing but the hours of the labor they are going to work hours of number of labors that are going to work that's so total man hour kind of thing number of labors multiplied by the hours they are they have worked it is like a hours so instead of actual quantity standard quantity revised standard quantity here we are going to discuss about actual hours uh, okay so here we are going to discuss about actual hours standard hours and revised standard hours so if you replace all this material uh, costing formula or variance formula material uh, material cost variance material price variance material usage variance so usage variance is further classified into material mix variance and material yield variance if you apply the same formula as it is instead of actual hover instead of actual quantity standard quantity revised standard quantity you can apply actual hours standard hours and revised standard hours same way instead of standard price and actual price you can update the uh, standard rate and actual rate so that is the formulas are as simple as that okay so here we are saying labor rate variance instead of material price variance it is labor rate variance which means change in the rate which means standard rate in minus actual rate so always the variance is standard minus actual okay so do not reverse the formula then your variance will be positive instead of negative or negative instead of positive which means instead of adverse variance you will end up favorable variance okay so these are all we discussed in the material costing itself now i am just uh, saying it once again because i got the opportunity and you can also use this opportunity to revise the material cost variance so okay so the, the actual rate of the labor is something but the standard rate is something so which means there is a difference in the rate rate is something called salary so salary is negotiated and finalized by hr department or personal department so this labor rate variance the full stakeholder the finance department will question is personal department only next is labor efficiency variance but in our uh, material we discussed about material usage variance instead of material usage variance in labor uh, topic we are going to discuss labor efficiency variance the efficiency of the labor okay so efficiency of the labor is standard hours minus actual hours so always the variance is standard minus actual so standard hours there is a prescribed hours in which your work has to be completed against which actually you have done the work in different hour so actual hour minus standard hour multiplied by the standard rate will give you the labor efficiency variance okay so who is the controller of it production department is controlling this because production department has to ensure the uh, activity is taken place within the standard hours or equal to standard hours not more than that if it is if actual hours are more than the standard hours then labor efficiency variance will be negative 
which means it is an adverse variance. So you can put it minus uh, the value or you can put the value and bracket you can put A which means adverse variance and F means favorable variance. Okay, so same way labor cost variance is equal to labor efficiency variance plus labor rate variance. Now labor efficiency variance will be further classified into labor mix variance or labor yield variance and in case there is some idle time, so idle time, uh, idle hours, so how much hours is idle multiplied by the standard rate is the idle time variance. So the sum of idle time variance plus mix variance plus labor yield variance is equal to labor efficiency variance. This is the formula which we use for checking whether our problem we have done it correct or not on the spot. So on the spot that's why I ask you to attend the standard costing problem and if it is labor and material for sure you will attend because we have covered the labor also before your examination. So please uh, attend the main reason for that is after calculating the answers you can check it also whether it is correct or not whether you get the mark or not on the spot you will get sure that is standard costing this is this is a, a big uh, gift right uh, so that's why we have to attend the standard costing so we discussed about idle time variance so we discussed about labor efficiency variance which is further divided into mix variance and yield variance so mix variance is revised standard hour minus actual hour multiplied by the standard rate Okay, what will be the yield variance is also exactly same what we discussed in the material scenario. Standard minus revised standard hour. Standard hour minus revised standard hour brackets into standard rate. Okay, so that will be the labor yield variance. Also, we discussed about an alternate formula in the material also for yield variance. So here also in the yield variance, actual yield, which means actually what is the total hours uh, we have got the uh, output minus standard yield nothing but the in, in as per standard what is the actual uh, total hours the people should have worked that is the total putting together all the labors the total so actual minus standard so only in the yield variance which is the output variance it will be actual minus standard in all other variance it will be standard minus actual okay so multiplied by standard output price this we discussed in material scenario the same case what is standard output price standard output prices revised standard hours multiplied by standard rate of the labor if you total there will be a revised standard hours okay so that revised standard the total revised standard cost of all the labor divided by total revised standard hours will be the total standard output price and with the help of standard output price we can find the labor yield variance this is an alternate formula if we, if you feel the labor yield variance is difficult you can apply this uh, formula else you can apply the usual formula what we have already discussed okay so this is what is the discussion on the labor variances we can go to the problem shortly and with this example problem all this uh, formulas will be printed on your uh, mind so which can you can easily deliver on your examination so in the book they have followed this approach which is nothing but what we discussed but if you want to mug up this formula there is high probability you may go wrong okay instead of this one two three four if you change the order all the formulas will go different but this is what is the formula given in the book but i will explain the formula in a very easy fashion labor rate variance what is rate variance rate variance is nothing but the uh, standard rate minus actual rate multiplied by standard hour so 3 minus 4 if you see 3 minus 4 what is this actual hour standard rate actual hour uh, actual rate so if you take actual hours out it will be standard rate minus actual rate multiplied by actual hours so that is called labor rate variance labor cost variance is nothing but labor rate variance plus labor efficiency variance okay so labor cost variance is nothing but actual rate actual hours 
minus standard rate, standard hour is the labor cost variance. Labor cost variance is simple. All the variances is put together, that is the labor cost variance. So here guys, did you understand what is the requirement the company will get? If you are in the finance department, you are doing the standard costing and variance analysis. What is the management will get? Management will get, you can say the labor cost variance is so much. They will, we cannot take action on that. However, if you say labor cost variance is so much and I have the breakup of that, labor rate variance is this much, then we can give that task to the personal department or HR department. They have to address that issue. And labor efficiency variance is this much, so we can break and give that to the production department. On overall, if you say labor variance, we have expensed 10,000 more, then nobody will take the action. But if you say, because of the salary issues, we have overpaid 5,000 rupees. Because of your efficiency issue, you are not utilizing the labor which you have taken, which you have appointed. You said there is a labor shortage. You asked for the labor. We gave you the labor, but you are not using the labor. That is why I am getting the uh, adverse variance on the labor efficiency. You can, you as a finance people, as a cost accountant of a factory, you can question the production head. So just think about the powers you will be having. You will always deal with the higher level of people in all the departments. So not only because you are a finance, uh, but because you know standard costing. So standard costing is that much uh, important. So if you want to uh, say pridely that you are a cost accountant, one of the important ingredient of that pride is standard costing. So do not forget to miss this. Uh, don't miss this. So we have to read this. Let's uh, go inside uh, this uh, example problem for this labor variance. The standard labor, uh, the standard labor complement and actual labor complement engaged in a week for a job are as under. Okay, so standard number of workers is given in the question. So there are uh, three types of uh, labors, so skilled workers, semi-skilled and unskilled workers. So three types of uh, labors are there in the company. The standard number of workers in the gang. So they speak uh, the group as a gang and standard number of workers. Yes, this will be determined by the management. While doing an activity or while, uh, while creating the business plan for the year itself, the company will have this much will be the labor count, whether we are higher or lower. If we are lower, we are going to appoint. If we are higher, there may be possibility the uh, increment will be much lower and because of this uh, the uh, demotivation uh, the employees may go out and uh, the these are all some odd means may not happen in the reality so these are all some odd, odd times because some uh, companies are project oriented companies if they have idle labors it is going to be a huge cost for them so in that kind of company they may take any kind of action uh, they may give a notice for three three months also in that case. Okay, so always there will be a standard. So why I said this, there will be a standard number of workers that has to be, that will be fixed by the management given as an input to the HR department and HR department has to ensure that on the lower side, management will accept. On the higher side, management will not accept. Okay, the higher chance that many people will get lower increment if the actual number of workers is higher than the standard number of workers. Okay, let's go inside the topic. Okay, so standard number 32 skilled workers, 12 semi-skilled workers and 6 unskilled workers. Okay, the standard wage rate per hour standard is fixed for them. This is the standard wage rate. Actual number of workers is 28, 18 and 4 and actual wage rate is given. So as a student, you can ask a question, how this actual will be higher than the standard? Okay, standard is something prescribed by the board of directors or the top management to the particular business unit. However, business unit may have lot of contingencies or difficulties while doing the execution level task. At that time, they will be in a situation to hire hire uh, a yeah, high cost candidate. For example, management has set the standard salary for this person is 20,000 rupees. 
but actual is 30,000 rupees. How that is possible? Because a particular person who is working at 20,000, he may drop his paper and he will be in the notice period. So HR department will see a new candidate and no guy will be willing to come for 20,000. They will ask for 30,000. And finally, the department head will say, please at least take that, uh, let our uh, labor variants go, adverse variants also, no problem. I will say that to the reason, the work is very critical. It is stopping the entire process. Let's take that person. Okay, this is how the actual is different from the standard. Okay, so we know the number of workers standard, actual number of workers we know, actual rate we know, standard rate we know. So clearly everything is given in the question. There is no confusion at all. Okay, during 40 hour work week. So work week is 40 hour. That is the period in which our problem is speaking about okay so uh, week the gang produced 1800 standard labor hours of work so they produced 1800 standard labor hour of work calculate all the variances okay let's calculate all the variances okay now okay so uh, now if you see the number standard number of workers you have Actual number of workers you have, actual hours, standard hours, revised standard hours. I am using the same table which I used for calculating the material cost variance just to avoid confusion for you. Okay, and actual rate and standard rate. So standard rate is given here 3, 2, and 1. So 3, 2, and 1 I have taken it here and actual rate is also given here 4, 3, and 2. So 4, 3, and 2 I have taken here. Actual hours I have to calculate how to calculate it. So now actual number of workers 28 multiplied by they have worked for 40 hours in a week so 28 multiplied by 40 so that is the skilled uh, actual hours next is 18 multiplied by 40 that is going to be the semi skilled and uh, 4 multiplied by 40 it's going to be 160 hours is the unskilled so if you total it it's coming to 2000 hours of output Next, uh, but during the 40 hour work week, work week, okay, the gang has produced only 1800 standard labor hour, which means the net output hours, the total hours that we have received as a output, okay, is only 1800 hours, which means 200 hours are lost. So how it is lost? Maybe, uh, maybe something like this. In a particular hour, you have to produce 10 numbers, but you have produced only 8 uh, numbers, which means 20% of hours is lost. So you can lay, say in that fashion also. So same way, here if you add everything, it comes to 2000 hours, but it is given in the question, the net output actual is only 1800. So 1800, so the loss is 200 hours. Now we know how to calculate the, uh, the output excluding the loss. So excluding the loss, the output will be same for actual hours and revised standard hours. So that's why I have given the color coding as blue color here. So same 2000 will come to the revised standard hours also. So how to calculate the breakup? Very simple. Standard number of workers is given multiplied by 40 hour in a work week. So 32 multiplied by 40, 1280 it is taken here, 40 multiplied by 12, okay, 480 is taken here, 40 multiplied by 6, 240 is also taken here. If you total 2000 hours, is there any loss? Why should a labor loss be kept as standard? No, it is not standard at all, okay. If you keep some standard, then these guys will waste the labor like anything. So better not to keep any standard loss for, so that is what this problem says. So there is no labor loss as per standard, okay, but actual 200 we calculated that now only. So and 2000 is the net output as a net output that should be is 2000, but actually it is only 1800. Now we know what is actual hours and re, uh, revised standard hours. So what is standard hours? Standard hours of the labor is nothing but the hours Putting together, it will be the net output. So net output should be tallied. So for the same, so for 2000, what is the breakup of the hours you calculated? But for 1800, 
what will be the hour the same concept revised standard hours and standard hours are proportional to each other and we have to just apply the linear proportion to find it so 1280 skilled hours for 2000 then for 1800 hours how much so 1280 divided by 2000 multiplied by 1800 so that will be 1152 Same way, 480 divided by 2000 multiplied by 1800 will be 432. Same way, you can calculate unskilled. If you total, it will be 1800. Of course, there is no loss that is prescribed in the standard for labor. Labor has to be 100% efficient. That is what prescribed by the management. But actual efficiency will be lesser or even sometimes higher also because. over the period of time labor will start doing the work very fastly at that time their efficiency would have increased also okay so here there is no loss so 1800 1800 will tally okay so net output of actual and standard will be same and excluding the loss the output of the actual and revised standard hours will be same now you have actual hour standard hour revised standard hour you also have actual rate and standard rate just apply the formula and you can find the answers okay so you have we have already discussed about all this uh, formulas okay for example labor rate variance what is the rate variance rate variance is change in the rate actual standard rate minus actual rate bracket multiplied by actual hours so that is the labor rate variance what is the labor efficiency variance efficiency variance means standard hours minus actual hours bracket multiplied by standard rate will be the labor efficiency variance now you can calculate all this okay and labor efficiency is classified into labor mix variance and labor yield variance labor yield variance can also be said as labor sub efficiency variance you may get this in your objective type labor yield variance is otherwise called as labor sub sub efficiency variance okay so labor mix variance plus labor sub efficiency variance is equal to labor efficiency variance this is the formula to check whether your answer is correct or not see here 80 plus 80 minus 504 will be minus 424 minus 420 so i am putting the negative sign here but i encourage you to put the 424 bracket a what is a a means adverse variance adverse variance means it is not good okay you have not done a good job that is called adverse variance so instead of putting a negative sign you can put adverse variance okay bracket a here labor mix variance is 80 positive positive means favorable variance which means you have done a good job so you can put bracket f which means favorable variance okay so i hope you understood all this uh, formula also we discussed about alternate formula for calculating the labor yield variance you can just see this formula it is much easier so this is a very very simple problem of labor variances meet you with other type of labor variance problem in the coming uh, video okay so all the very best guys the exam is nearing so please do your good job in your uh, revision okay so all the very best guys thank you